hello guys welcome once again now we are still on elementor pro widgets tutorial now what we are going to do today is to talk about slides okay so we're going to use this widget to create sliders okay and that is exactly what we want to do now one thing about elementor pro is if you have it there is no need for you to add any other plugin or any other thing to it you just um, use the widgets or the elements you create anything that you want to do so we are going to talk about slides over here now let's jump into our um website over here and then um if you are new over here we are creating um tutorials based on the elementor pro widgets okay so we've started with a loop grid where we created um you know the the loops over here and then we also created the loop carousel and then we created posts and then we came to portfolio and then we came to um, gallery and then we came to form and then we went to login form and now we are on sliders over here now um, to create a slider or to create some sliders for your website you no know, sliders are very very important when it comes to the home page of the website it makes it very nice and then um, it makes it you know very um how do you call it like interactable okay your website interactable people can be able to interact with the slides and other stuff now what we are going to do is we're going to use elementor pro to create it so the widget that we're going to use is specifically in elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro um please get elementor pro before you follow this tutorial or you can just watch it maybe later on you can get elementor pro now if you need elementor pro i'll leave a link in the description for you there is a link over there um click on it and then get elementor pro now that is what my affiliate link if you buy through that link you're going to support the channel i'm going to get a small commission um from whatever that you buy over there it doesn't mean that you're going to pay more you're not going to pay more you're just going to what um they are just going to give me a commission for me referring you to to them okay and that is uh, basically it so what we are going to do is we're going to create sliders so we're going to go down over here scroll down um and then where we see slides over here so this is what this is what we're going to use to create our sliders okay so we're going to um just drag it into this um place over here we're just dragging it into into this place and then we use it to create our sliders now automatically they've created three slides for us okay so um slide one if you scroll over here you have slide two over here and then if you scroll to the next one you go to the next one also you're gonna have slide three over here okay so basically three slides have been created for us to modify it now of course you can add on to as any slides that you want now let's modify these three slides that they've created for us so um we, this is slide one so over here if you want just color you can use color but if you want to add an image you can also add an image to it so i'm going to go ahead and then add an image okay so i'm going to scroll down and then um, choose an image that i want to use so let's say i want to use um you know just go down let me just load more and then choose a very nice image so let's say i want to use this particular image over here so i can go ahead and then use this image okay so as you can see um let me just go here so this is how the image looks like okay so um it covers the color over here so we're not going to see the color okay and that is what and that is it now of course um the content over here you can change it so you see that we have background content and style okay so that is what exactly what we're going to do so we click on content over here and then um we change what we change the style so um let's say we say maybe um best podcast in the world okay so best pod podcast in the world and then anything that you want to write over here you write it and then this is the button link uh, button text okay so um i'm just gonna say lesson now all right so this is what this is my first slide over here and then i'll link it to any link that i want to i want to link it to okay so that is what that is it so that is what the, the our first um you know slide so you can use this slides to you know link it to post or pages that you've already what created okay so that is what uh, one particular now of course you can also go to style over here now the style if you want to start this particular um how do you call it this particular slide differently then the style that you're going to activate over here that is a custom style will only affect 
this particular slider that you are working on okay so if i activate this one you see that um everything i do over here will only affect um you know the the slide that i'm what i'm working on okay and that is what and that is it but i'm just going to ignore it and then head on to slide two so with a slide two also i can decide to add a different image okay i'll go ahead and add a different image i'm gonna go straight down go to load more and then i will add what a different image to it so um let me just you know select this guy over here i'm gonna select this guy over here and then um i use this one so as you can see with this one um because th you know the image is not really dark the text cannot really show over here so um maybe what i'll do is let me go to let me go over here and then if i want a background overlay as you can see over here i can be able to activate this background overlay and then um just you know go ahead and then increase the opacity a little bit okay so um, let me just increase the opacity a little bit so let me go back over here and as you can see the text is now what is now popping over here okay so that is what how you can be able to um you know make the text come out by activating the background overlay now let's go to content over here also and then um we can just you know um write anything over here so let's say um seo seo um you know just seo okay i just want to write something so that you, you you get the idea of what we're doing so this is the heading okay or the title and then this is the description for it okay so um you know seo website okay so let's say seo website or something like that okay so just something that you can get the idea about so basically that is it so um with the with the um, button text also we can say maybe learn more okay we can just go ahead and then just write learn more over here and then if you want to style it differently like we did the other one you can we showed you with the other one you can also what do so over here okay but i think everything is quite okay and then we are good to go now let's go to heading three over here and then we're also going to add another image over here we're going to add another image so i'm going to go scroll down um come here and then pick any um you know anything okay so all right so let me pick um this lady over here and then let me just go over here and then um let me also activate the background overlay over here and then increase the opacity a little bit okay so that the text will be popping over here and then um, i'm gonna go to the content over here and then i'll say maybe um you know subscribe for more content okay and then with this one i'll say subscribe all right so um now we are then i'll put maybe a link over here or something like that that would take them to a form that they can be able to subscribe okay so um basically i think we are we are all good to go so um i think everything is fine everything is fine so with the style and other stuff we are good to go so now you can go to let's go to it style so with, this is the height okay before we go there this is the height now if you want to change the height to let's say maybe 600 okay you see that um the height will, will increase over here okay and that is it and then we also have slider options over here now as you can see um if you scroll down there is some dots over here okay so it is an arrow and then dot okay so if you don't want if you don't want it you can change it if you just want arrows you can change it if you don't want if you just want dots you can change if you don't want anything you can also change it okay and that is it and then auto play uh, pause on hover you know um pause on uh, um, interaction speed you know the speed and other stuff you can also what um change it infinite loop and then um the transition you can either make it fade or what slide you know and then also the speed um, transition speed and then um the content animation so with the content animation you can change it to anyhow you want it either you want it to be zoom or you want it to be left right down or top whatever it is okay so you can change it anyhow now let's go to style over here and then see how we can be able to style um this particular um you know um 
slider over here so you can give it a pattern if you want the content weight is 66 percent which i think is okay now you see that all of them are in the middle over here everything is what center 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 okay so the text is aligned center the vertical position is center the um, horizontal position is what the center which is quite okay okay but of course you can make it anyhow you want it and then also um if you want a text shadow you can what you can also choose it now this is the button this is the navigation okay so let, first of all let me go to the navigation over here and then um the the color you can change it to any color that you want so as you can see um this is what this is the the arrow colors okay and this is the pagination with um um settings so with the arrow colors i think the white is okay and then the pagination also i want to change it to uh, maybe white okay so as you can see this is what this white you see it over here and then the active color i want to change it to yellow okay so that the one that um, it is active will change to to yellow and that is what and that is the pagination but with the um with the arrows i think everything is what is quite okay i am okay with it the only thing is you can decide to increase the size um the way you want it it depends on what it depends on you okay how you want to increase the size and other stuff depends on you so that is what with the navigation and then the button also if you want to um change the color and everything you can do so over here so if you think the button is too small for you you can make it either medium or large okay um to to help you you know visualize everything the way you want it so let's make it like a medium so medium is quite okay um you know everything is quite okay and then you can decide to give it a text color the background color the um, the button uh, itself color and then a border color okay but i'm going to leave everything as it is and i think we are good to go now if you want to make the the slider full width okay now as you can see over here let me just publish this one and then we go to the front end to see how it looks like so i'm going to go over here refresh the website and then let's see how it looks like on the front end so this is um how it's going to look like on the front end so guys as you can see this is how it looks like on the front end okay so um it looks like this side and this side is um is showing over here but i want it to be like a full width okay and to be able to do that um we're gonna go over here and then i'm gonna just click on this edit um you know container over here so this is what the container that we're gonna do with okay and then the layout is flex boss all right um the content width we want to make it what full width okay so we want to make it like a full width so um let's publish it and see how the full width really looks like all right so let me go over here and refresh it and let me see how the full width looks like so guys as you can see this is the full width of the content width so if your slider looks like this it's very very nice um you can go ahead and then you know just change everything that you want okay so this is very nice this is, um really really nice over here all right so what i'm going to do is i want to bring the slider to the top of our page over here okay so that it's going to be um you know make the page nice so i'm going to go to click on the structure over here and then i'll bring the the slides okay with its heading all on top okay so first of all let me just uh, move the heading first to the top so i'm going to go top all right okay so and then i'll come again and then take the slide also to the top now of course if you want to um, rename your containers you can be able to do so um all depends on how you rename it so this is what this is a slider heading and this um you know what i can also do is i can decide to just um bring this one inside this one if i want to okay um it all depends on what i want to do but i think um this one is quite okay for me now if you are building a website make sure that you restructure your your website very well so this is what this is a slider and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just delete this one so that the slider will take all the top part of it i'm going to publish it and i'm going to go back over here and refresh the website all right guys so as you can see this is what this is our slider showing on top over here and it looks pretty nice okay 
so that is how you can be able to create um, a slider using the slider widget in elementor pro thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel subscribe to the channel let's grow together thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye